You may have seen some benches that went up, but they got a red light. The hips were down and you're thinking, what could possibly be wrong with this lift? Hey guys, Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com, and today we're talking about up and down motion on the bench press and how you can go about fixing that. What is up and down motion? Well, if you've ever been to a powerlifting meet, you may have seen some benches that went up, but they got a red light. The hips were down and you're thinking, what could possibly be wrong with this lift? Well, usually that secret thing, that, that, that undercover thing you don't see is that up and down motion, all right? And unless you're familiar with the sport, you're not sure why that red light came about. Well, it's because if there's any drop in the bar's motion in terms of all three lifts, that's a cause for a red light out of meat. All right, so how to go about fixing this if this is your issue, if this is happening time and time again, you're getting these red lights for any up and down motion on the bench press, all right, what it typically is related to is going to be uh, in addition to the bar path. Okay, so your bar path is off, you're either coming out too far in front or you're making some type of correction during the course of the press that's causing that little dip in the bar. All right, you're gonna have to catch your groove again. That's why that dip is occurring. So if we can straighten out how you're shooting that bar off your chest, then we will be able to uh, help fix this issue, okay? So I'm going to recruit this mini band here. All right, we're gonna do a little drill and you're only gonna need a mini band or a micro mini band. You're not gonna need a ton of tension on this drill. You're not gonna need a ton of tension on this drill. All right, to set this up, all we need to do is attach the mini band around the barbell on one side. I am going to come down and under the front of the bench, okay? And I'm gonna come back around here to the other side. Now make sure when you're setting this up to make sure the tension's equal, push outwards here, set that tension equal on both sides. And there you go, there's your band set up. All right guys, so what the band's gonna do hooked up like this is going to cause us to have to press back in an extreme fashion. So a lot of times with those up and down issues is that a lifter gets stuck out in front and they have to kind of fall back into that groove in order to press back. So that's where that problem's coming in. And this is gonna get us firing off the chest in a, a much more quicker fashion here so that we don't fall out of groove. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like with this band tension, all right? And you don't need much band tension here. Three, two, all right, so I have a hold of it. I have an extreme pull towards my feet with the bands. So it's almost like I'm doing a front raise in a little bit here. I'll bring it down, I'll bring it down. I have to stay tucked underneath. Now that's an important aspect of the bench press is that I stay tucked enough underneath, not an extreme elbow tuck, but I'm in a position where if I press the bar, I'm not hanging out like this. It's not gonna come out in front of me. All right, I need to make sure here that uh, my chest is driven up, right? My, tr my uh, triceps are connected in with my lats and boom, I have to press back. Boom. Boom, all right. So just that little deviation that the bands cause makes me have to more forcefully fire that bar back against the band tension, making it a great drill for anyone having a hard time with bar path issues, especially on the press. If you're someone who I just said falls out of groove, has to kind of have to drop back down into it to get that press back, this can help solve your problems right here. All right, guys, so solve your up and down issues on the bench. Throw on the mini bands. Coach Ben here. And you can meet me. With the bands on the bench. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel over here. Check out the links in the description box below. You can see a video related on this topic right here and then our latest video right there. Thanks for watching.